the feeling of winning Young National Chef of the Year was uh, it was just incredible. I mean, the sense of joy and relief of putting so much work and effort into the competition, and not only that, it was my third try doing it. Um, three years ago, I made the final. The year before that, I didn't even make the final, and then to finally uh, put it all out on that day, uh, back in October, was incredible. And uh, for example, that that one day I'd been up since four in the morning. I was all alone. I had uh, my workplace was very busy. Uh, my family couldn't help me. I, I was literally on my own with two suitcases, making my way down, and it was difficult. And I'm so glad it's all over. <laughs> the competition uh, has opened so many doors for me since winning it. So, um, for example, uh, I just came back from a two-month trip in New York where I started around in some of the best restaurants in New York. And I don't think, the, unless I won the competition, those, those stages that I had lined up for me wouldn't have been possible unless I'd, I'd mentioned it or it or it'd given me the confidence to make that leap of faith to, to venture out. Uh, my advice for anyone who's thinking about entering the competition would be to, to, to go for it. I mean, it's open to anyone up until the age of 24 from any chef of any level. It's not, there's no, there's no prejudice towards it. Um, doesn't matter what background you are, uh, what college, or even if you went to college, as long as you can cook and the judges can see this, uh, it, I, I, would say, I would say honestly go for it. Uh, enter a competition that can get you invited into it and just seriously do it. You never look back and even if you don't win it, the amount of opportunities and exposure you get is incredible. To create a winning entry, um, I think it's, it's all down to practicing and believing in what you can cook. Um, there wasn't one second where I thought the menu I'd made was a winning menu straight off. It was a menu that I, I believed in. It was a menu that I, I thought I could go to a restaurant and pay good money for and, and enjoy. I thought the food was good and the stuff that I wanted to cook as well. There was nothing on the menu that I I didn't like cooking. It was stuff that I truly enjoyed. There's numerous pr prizes from winning the competition. Uh, for example, they, uh, the accolade is probably the biggest thing. I've got this massive plate in a big glass box, which is hanging in my parents' home, and uh, a massive bottle of champagne that I haven't opened yet. And um, also, we've we've got a, uh, a trip to one of the best restaurants in the world uh, lined up, and also a study trip in Scotland. Uh, so that's, that's open to all the finalists, so we're going to see uh, what, what, what the best uh, Scotland can offer in terms of produce and experience what, uh, a side of Scotland that we may not necessarily see. My top tip for staying calm under pressure is uh, uh, to make sure you drink a lot of, a lot of water. Um, I've, I have a few points actually. Yeah, make sure you drink a lot of water because you'll be surprised how much it would help you, especially in the competition when when you're when you're when you're normally not drinking, it, it helps so much. And make sure you have notes on you, because if you if you are at a point where you're struggling, you can always refer to your notes. There's nothing wrong with stopping and seeing where where you're up to. And uh, another thing is make sure make sure you practice before you've got on the day. Make sure you've seen the dishes and you're happy with them.